morning. This is uh, Pastor Mark of uh, Jasper Pentecostal Church. It's uh, Wednesday morning, April 8th, and uh, coming to you with uh, greetings and uh, well wishes and uh, prayers for this week. This week is uh, Holy Week, and so I want to do uh, a couple uh, ministry videos. I thought I'd just uh, let you know ahead uh, what I'm doing. I'm uh, standing uh, just south of Jasper here, just south of uh, the Jasper town site. Behind me are Signal and Takara Mountains. And below Signal and Takara are, uh, is uh, Old Fort Point. Old Fort Point uh, gets its name from uh, the fur trade era and uh, mo many of the fur trading stations were called forts and some of them had stockades, many of them didn't. And uh, often after they'd been used for a season or more, uh, they were called old. And uh, it was called Point uh, because uh, of the prominence. And uh, so uh, the story goes is that the fur trader agent who was stationed here would climb Old Fort Point and look up the Athabasca Valley to see when the brigade was coming down from the Athabasca Pass, and hence the name Old Fort Point. I want to go up on Old Fort Point today and uh, speak to you from there uh, because it reminds me of uh, Calvary. Uh, Calvary, uh, Golgotha, was outside the city of Jerusalem. Golgotha wasn't uh, nearly as high a prominence as Old Fort Point, uh, but uh, it's the closest thing we have to uh, Calvary uh, right around Jasper here. So uh, that's what I plan to do. So uh, I'll see you up on Old Fort Point uh, in a few minutes or maybe a bit more. <laughs> Until then. Hello again, it's Pastor Mark. I'm back and I made it to uh, the top of uh, Old Fort Point. The trail wasn't bad. Uh, some icy spots I had to uh, be careful of uh, my, uh, my foot footing, uh, but uh, most of the way was uh, just hard packed dirt and, uh, and rock. So it was all right. It's uh, a beautiful day uh, here in Jasper. Uh, we've got blue sky. There was a full moon last night uh, that you probably saw. And uh, so today the sky is clear and uh, the mountains are snow covered. So it's, uh, it's gorgeous. So I think I'll just give you uh, uh, a panorama here of uh, what you can see up at, on top of Old Fort Point. And uh, I should say uh, that's uh, Pyramid Mountain. Uh, in the background, and uh, there is uh, the Jasper Town site. It's one of the reasons why uh, Old Fort Point is a popular place to come. This is where we send visitors to Jasper so they can have a short uh, mountain hike and, uh, and see the surrounding area. Just uh, going uh, around to uh, the east, and there you can see the Colin Range. And uh, then uh, Signal Mountain and Takara in the sunlight. I'm getting the hang of this uh, selfie stick and uh, how to panorama like this, but uh, it's a work in progress. And uh, to the south, is uh, or to the west, I suppose, is to uh, Whistler's Mountain, and uh, that's where the Whistler's Tea House is and the tram. And then uh, going to the south is, uh, I think you could see uh, Mount Edith Cavell back down there. And then uh, back to the Jasper Town site and uh, and Pyramid Mountain.
as I uh, mentioned before, it's uh, uh, Good Friday, it's Holy Week this week, and uh, Good Friday this Friday, and uh, I want to do uh, a Good Friday service and uh, record that and, uh, and uh, post it for you. And uh, as part of uh, my Good Friday service, uh, I want to uh, lead you in communion. A very different uh, sort of communion, uh, to be sure, because uh, we can't be together in community. Uh, we have to isolate and self-distance and, uh, and so on. Uh, but uh, we can uh, share in communion, and uh, so uh, I'd like to uh, lead you in uh, a service of communion, if you will. And uh, I invite you to uh, prepare for it by uh, getting ready for you and uh, your family, whoever's in your household, getting ready uh, uh, a cup uh, and uh, bread. Uh, a cup of, uh, well, I'll be have a, using a cup of uh, grape juice and uh, probably uh, some flatbread, uh, like uh, the Passover bread uh, that uh, the Jewish people, including Jesus, uh, used at, uh, at Passover time and the time of uh, the Last Supper. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, share in those together uh, as, uh, as you watch uh, the video. So I invite you to uh, prepare for that uh, for uh, this Friday, uh, Good Friday. Um, before I go and uh, leave this uh, beautiful place and this beautiful site, I'd just like to uh, share a, a scripture uh, reading uh, with you, uh, something that uh, has to do with, uh, with Calvary and uh, the Good uh, Friday story. And this is uh, from uh, the book of Hebrews in the New Testament, uh, Hebrews uh, chapter 13 and uh, verses uh, 11 to, uh, to 14. And here uh, the uh, writer of Hebrews speaks about uh, the suffering of Christ uh, for our sake. And uh, he uh, uh, likens Jesus to uh, the sacrificial animal that uh, the high priest or the priest of Israel uh, after he had sacrificed uh, the body of the animal, he uh, took it out uh, to outside the city to dispose of it uh, uh, because uh, it was dead and uh, it no longer belonged in the holy precincts of the temple and the city. And uh, Jesus himself was, uh, was um, uh, executed outside of the city uh, of Jerusalem outside the city walls. The walls have changed uh, since that time, but in Jesus' time, he was led outside the city and crucified out there because uh, his death uh, would have defiled uh, the city precincts and would have been forbidden by Jewish law. And so he was uh, crucified outside the city. And that's what uh, the writer of uh, Hebrews speaks about. And here he says, the high priest carries the blood of animals into the most holy place as a sin offering, but the bodies are burned outside the camp. And so Jesus also suffered outside the city gate to make the people holy through his own blood. Let us then go to him outside the camp, bearing the disgrace he bore. For here we do not have an enduring city, but we are looking for the city that is to come. And in Christ Jesus, we are looking uh, for that heavenly city and the future kingdom of God. And uh, we, uh, we don't have to live outside uh, our cities, our dwellings, our towns uh, here in this life, but we certainly must be willing to uh, bear the disgrace uh, that uh, Jesus bore we must be willing to uh, confess his name and uh, say, yes, uh, I'm a believer, I'm a follower of Christ Jesus. And, uh, and so we uh, suffer uh, along with our Savior and identify with him uh, in that way. And we continue in faith and uh, in uh, faithfulness and in service. And as part of our service, we uh, remember uh, 
the death of our Lord on this Good Friday, but also uh, 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 celebrate his resurrection from the dead on uh, Easter Sunday. And uh, so I uh, invite you to uh, join me for the Good Friday broadcast and then again on Easter Sunday, uh, another broadcast to, uh, to celebrate the resurrection of the Lord. And uh, so I pray God's blessing on you and your families. I pray he'll keep you well. And uh, I pray uh, for our government leaders, for Premier Jason Kenney and for his cabinet who must make uh, very uh, important decisions and very difficult decisions at this time. What is best for the welfare of, uh, of Albertans and how we get through this present health crisis and how we uh, save the most lives that we can and how we uh, do it uh, in, uh, in a caring and, uh, and respectful way. And uh, so I pray that uh, God will be with uh, our leaders uh, and uh, our health officials and, uh, and our health workers too. And uh, I pray God's blessing upon you and may this be a very uh, blessed and uh, meaningful and uh, even inspiring Easter for you and your family. Amen and farewell till uh, Friday.